The COVID-19 coronavirus outbreak is a new illness, and as yet, there is no vaccine, so prevention is the best step forward for all of us. Watch this video to learn more about COVID-19 and how you can protect yourself and others around you through some simple measures. In this video, we'll look at some of the most common questions you may have about the novel coronavirus COVID-19. What are its symptoms? How can it spread? and how can you protect yourself and others against it? Symptoms. Common signs of the COVID-19 coronavirus infection include fever, cough, headache, and respiratory symptoms like shortness of breath and breathing difficulties. In more severe cases, infection can cause pneumonia, severe acute respiratory syndrome, kidney failure, and even death. Spreading. Coronavirus spreads when an infected person coughs small droplets packed with the virus into the air. These airborne particles can cause infection if they are breathed in. For flu, some hospital guidelines define exposure as being within six feet of an infected person who sneezes or coughs for 10 minutes or longer. Coronavirus can be contracted if you touch a surface the airborne particles have landed on such as seats on buses or trains, door handles, and desks and telephones in offices, and then touch your eyes, nose, or mouth. Protection. The best thing to do to prevent catching any infection is frequent and thorough hand washing. Wash your hands as soon as you come into contact with a surface that other people would have touched before you. You should use soap and water to wash your hands. If soap and water are not readily available, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol content. If your hands are visibly dirty, you must use soap and water. You should wash your hands for at least 20 seconds, making sure to cover all surfaces of your hands. Make sure to clean the back of your hands, between your fingers, the end of your fingers, including under your nails, your thumbs, your palms, and your wrists as well. Turn off the tap with your elbow or with a tissue to prevent cross-contamination, and then discard the tissue in a bin. Cover your mouth and nose with a tissue when you cough or sneeze. Then throw the tissue in a bin and wash your hands. If you do not have a tissue on hand, cough or sneeze into your elbow rather than your hands. Unwashed hands may be the most common way for you to contract the virus, other than inhaling respiratory droplets produced by an infected person. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands at all costs. Avoid close contact with people who are unwell. If someone in your family has been infected, stay in another room or be separated from the person as much as possible. Use a separate bedroom and bathroom if available. When in the same room, you and the infected person should wear face masks. Make sure that shared spaces in the home have good airflow. Use disposable gloves when touching the infected person and wash your hands immediately afterwards. Clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces in your house daily. This includes tables, doorknobs, light switches, countertops, handles, desks, phones, keyboards, toilets, faucets, and sinks. Wear a mask if you're coughing or sneezing. This may help contain droplets containing any type of virus, including the flu, and protect anyone within three to six feet of you. If you have returned from an affected area in the last two weeks, stay indoors and avoid contact with other people for 14 days. This means not going to work, school, or public areas. As the spread of the disease intensifies, the only way to stem the spread may be social distancing. If you live in an area that has been put under lockdown, be sure to follow all government directives to avoid exposure to and spread of this coronavirus. Limit contact with people outside your family as much as possible. If you need to get food, staples, medications, or health care, try to stay at least six feet away from others and wash your hands thoroughly after the trip, avoiding contact with your face and mouth throughout. Prepare your own food rather than going to a restaurant or even getting takeout. Stay informed on the latest developments about COVID-19. 
but be careful about your sources. Do not fall prey to misinformation, fake news, and conspiracy theories floating around on social media. Rely on information shared by the World Health Organization or on government advisories like the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. As you know, the COVID-19 coronavirus has been declared a pandemic by the World Health Organization. While governments and health systems need to prepare for an even wider spread, you should also do your part. Limit your exposure, avoid public places, and follow the travel advisories. Only a concerted effort can bring the situation under control. In the face of this pandemic, the most selfless thing you can do is look after your own health. So take care of yourself and of others around you.